Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I made quite a discovery last night, and that is this. The Steam VR has a resolution for eye or per eye setting. And I'm going to show you some of the difference it makes. Um, here the NIS scaler stays the same, and I changed the Steam VR. And you can see that changing the Steam VR changes the NIS scaler resolution, which of course changes the in-game resolution. What this means is I got a whole lot more experimenting to do because it makes a it makes a pretty big difference in both performance and the quality of the image. So here again, 59% down down to 40, but now we go to 75 on the NIS scaler. And you can see the numbers change. Again, here's 40, but now it's 1275, and before it was 1003. And at 100%, it brings it up to that. So it does definitely make a difference. It gives a lot of room for changes. And so it's going to take a lot of experimenting to try this out because now I can try all of the Steam VR resolution settings combined with the NIS scalar resolution settings combined with the in-game resolution settings combined with the oculus resolution settings that is an awful lot of possible combinations and I'm going to work on it and I'm going to find the absolute best that I can for my gear the RTX 3070 card with the Ryzen processor and the Oculus Quest 2. Again, not running the debug tool, the tray tool, or the link cable because I use Steam VR with Virtual Desktop, which is an Oculus app. But other than that, I don't use any Oculus software. So, well, let's see what we got here, folks, and uh, maybe I'll come up with something that'll be the, the golden ticket for the rest of us that can't yet afford the top of the line headsets. Not that I'm complaining, I love my Quest 2 and I'm super, super happy to have it combined with Microsoft Flight Sim, which I also love.